In this video, I am going to show you TP-Link TL-R480T plus load balancing router configuration. First, we need to connect the router directly to PC using LAN cable. Then, need to power on the device. Once after, we need to find the IP address of the router. For this purpose, we need to use the run command. Then, type ncpa.cpl command. Here, we are able to see the network interfaces. From here, we need to find the default gateway IP of network interface that will be our router IP address after getting the IP we need to enter the IP in web browser after entering we will get an option for configuring the username and password we can configure any username and password here I am using admin and the password also I have configured for the testing purpose always use the username and password as complex then press the confirm button once after login, we are able to see two WAN interfaces. This device having total five network interfaces. We can extend up to four WAN interfaces. By default, it will have two WAN interfaces, WAN 1 and WAN 2. We can convert four of the interfaces to WAN and one interfaces will be always LAN. If any time we need to increase the WAN port, we can use four of the WAN port in this device. That means we can connect 4 ISP in the same device and we can get the output from the LAN. If you are selecting WAN 1 and WAN 2, we can see the configuration of WAN interfaces. Here I am using the dynamic IP for both WAN and WAN 2. Here I am extending one more WAN port. For extending the WAN, we need to select network, then WAN. Here we are able to see the WAN mode. Then select the third port as WAN. Then select the radio on third port. Then press the save button. It will start to reboot. Once after we are able to see three WAN port in the same router. WAN 1, WAN 2 and WAN 3. Last we done the configuration with WAN 3. If you want to add DDNS for this WAN, we can use in service, we can select dynamic DNS. Here we are able to see PNET Hull, COMEX, DIN DNS and no IP options for DDNS. Here we can select which WAN we need to set up the dynamic DNS. Here I am using no IP. First we need to select the interface. We are having multiple WAN interface on this router. So we can set up separate DDNS for different interfaces. Here I am using WAN1. Then I am entering the no IP account details and enter the no IP details. Then select the once after entering the no IP details. We need to select update intervals, then select the status as enable, then press the OK button. Now we have configured the DDNS for WAN 1 interface. If you want to add DDNS for the WAN 2, we can add one more DDNS for the WAN 2 address. If you want to edit any of the DDNS account, we can edit. If you want to delete DDNS account, we can delete. Now we are going to look how to do the IP address reservation in TP-Link TLR480T plus router. For this purpose, we need to select network. Then, then press the LAN. Here we are able to see the DHCP reservation. If you are checking the DHCP reservation, we are unable to see any of the reserved address. Here, there is an option to add the DHCP reservation. I am using DHCP client list for reserving the IP address. For this purpose, we can choose DHCP client list. Then there is an option operations. Once we press the operation button, that IP and MAC address will be reserved. That IP and MAC address we are able to see in reserved list. If you want to change any settings, we can change after editing the MAC address reservation. Then press the OK button. Now I am going to show you how to set up the load balancing. By default, this router having the load balancing setup. If you want to manage the load balancing, we need to select transmission, then load balancing. Here we are able to see the load balancing setup. We are able to see the load balancing is already enabled. If you want to disable the load balancing, we are able to disable the load balancing from here. If you want to enable the load balancing bandwidth base, we can enable from here. For this purpose, first we need to set up the bandwidth for each WAN interfaces. Then only this will be working properly. Otherwise, it will collapse the entire internet access. Because this will work based on the internet speed, which we configured on the interface. If you are selecting the link backup, 
we can set up primary van and backup vans here we are able to select multiple primary van but backup van will be single we can see the backup link backup mode we are able to see timing timing means time based switching and the second one is failover failover any primary van fails so it will start to the backup van as well the second one is all the primary once after failing all the primary it will start to it will start to use backup van then press the status enable button then press ok for understanding the failure of van we need to enable online detection by default all the van have default to online detections if you want to edit and we can change to some other ip address or checking the connectivity usually we are using the default one now i am going to show you how to change the password of tp link tl r 480 t plus router admin password for this purpose we need to select system tools and then admin setup here we can change the username and password here i am adding new username and password then press the save button here we are able to log out the router thank you for watching this video if you like the video please press the like button share and subscribe